Chomsky argued that the part of language most likely to be biological is not so much the meaning of the words as the grammar we use to put them together. Take the sentence, uh, John ate an apple. Let's say we've gotten to the point where a child understands that. Uh, we hear John ate. Okay, let's say the child understands that to mean John's eating something or other. Well, there's a kind of a principle. The principle says that if something is missing, that you understand it to mean something or other. Okay, that's natural. Take it a step further. Take the sentence, uh, John is too stubborn to talk to Bill. Okay, that means John is so stubborn that he won't talk to Bill. Uh, drop out the last word, Bill, just like we dropped out the last word, Apple. John is too stubborn to talk to. Well, by the principle we just used, it ought to mean John is so stubborn that he won't talk to someone or other, which is perfectly sensible, but it doesn't mean that. It means that John is so stubborn that someone or other won't talk to him, John. So we invert the interpretation. A child can go through its whole life without having heard evidence relevant to these interpretations, and they're known instantly.